that's when Noah starts Noah. Who's Noah? <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated releases for the month of June 2019. I tried to pick ones that weren't super popular because nobody wants to hear about the same five books over and over again. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have is called I'll Never Tell You by Katherine McKenzie and this is supposed to be released June 1st, 2019. This book follows a girl named Amanda who was bludgeoned to death 20 years earlier in a rowboat on the McAllister family estate. No one was charged with the crime and when the McAllister siblings' parents die, they return to the estate in order to read over the will. And that's when they are told that there can be nothing done to the estate, nothing is happening until they solve Amanda's murder. And it's basically them like working together but then figuring out who they can trust in the family and what's all the secrets and all that jazz. And I just think that it's gonna be a super fun read. I'm hoping that one of the siblings like murdered Amanda. I don't know, I feel like there's like a huge conspiracy behind Behind Amanda's death and I'm super excited about it so we need this book. The next book that is on my list I actually have an arc of from Simon & Schuster so thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me a copy but it is The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda and this follows a little town called Little Port in Maine where the locals never become friends with the vacationers but this was not the case for local Avery Green and Sadie Lohman. One day Sadie is found dead and her death is ruled a suicide but Avery is not convinced that that's the case so she decides that she is going to talk to the people of the town and try to figure out what they know and what actually happened to Sadie. I'm just gonna assume that somebody on the island knows more than they're saying and somebody killed Sadie but I want to know who killed Sadie. I'm gonna read it hopefully it's a good thriller because you know on this channel we love our thrillers, so I'm excited. The next book that I have is called Paranoid. This is by Lisa Jackson and it is to be released June 25th, 2019. 20 years ago, the accidental death of her half-brother Luke still gives Rachel nightmares. She doesn't know who switched out her soft pellet gun for a real gun, but she can't absolve her guilt. Her high school reunion is taking place soon and Rachel is convinced that she is being followed by somebody who is seeking revenge. Connections start to surface that link Luke's death to a new string of murders and that's when Rachel becomes a little bit more paranoid than usual. I'm guessing that whoever is behind the gun switch is the person who these new murders are about. Who really knows? Maybe Luke isn't actually dead and it's Luke. Probably not because that seems very far-fetched but it'd be an interesting twist, I'm just saying. But who really knows? We're gonna read the book and hopefully find out for ourselves, but I think this one sounds really good as well. My next book is called Man of the Year. This is by Caroline Louise Walker. This is supposed to be released June 11th, 2019. This book follows Dr. Robert Hart, who is voted the town's Man of the Year. His medical practice is thriving. He has a gorgeous wife, the perfect home, and his son, who has been struggling lately, named Jonah, is also picking up the pace and doing great at school. So when Jonah comes home for the summer and he has his troubled roommate Nick in tow, Dr. Robert decides to offer Nick a place to stay. It starts off great and Jonah has somebody to hang out with during the summer, but that is when Dr. Robert starts to notice the attention that Nick is giving his wife and the secrets that he is tied up with start to come to light. I think that Nick and the wife gonna plan some kind of like takeover like Nick's gonna take over Dr. Robert's life or something maybe he's gonna murder him I don't know but I hope there's death and stabbing and murder I know it's weird but I like it when murders happen in books not in real life but in books it's okay okay I find it thrilling and then the final book I have is a contemporary new adult romance kind of book because I like to pick one new adult romance contemporary ish book to balance out all my thrillers that I read. So the one that I chose this time around is called Parental Guidance and it is by Avery Flynn and it is supposed to be released June 17th, 2019. And this book follows up and coming hockey star Caleb who finds himself in a PR nightmare. He reluctantly agrees to let his mother download a dating app and find him a date to try to absolve this PR problem. That's when Zara comes into the picture who has a bet with her friends that she can't land five dates with the same guy. They both agree 
that they will go on these five dates in order to appease their families and then they can go their separate ways. They never intended to fall in love and I love myself some jock men, love myself some feisty girls, so I'm super excited to have a book where they come together and fall in love. I think it's gonna be like a super sarcastic, witty, fun time and you know, like I said, we need our breaks from all the stabby stabby murder murder that I read, so this is my choice for this month, but I think it's gonna be a good one. Alright guys, so those were my most anticipated releases for the month of June 2019. Honestly, by the time you guys see this video, all of these have probably already been released, so go to your local bookstore and pick them up. Let me know down below if any of these sound interesting to you. I hope you found at least one that sounds cool, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!